If you're facing Microsoft Store error like sorry about that, something went wrong or any other Microsoft issue, so before doing any hard work, you can try this simple method. So first thing is close the Microsoft Store and go to start, type the date and time here, okay? So open the date and time setting and here your date and time must be correct as per your country and region, okay? So set the correct date and time as per your country because wrong data time will create a lot of problem to Microsoft Store as well as internet connection. So from here you can set the automatic data time. If the automatic data time is wrong, then set it manually. So from here you can choose the manually data time. Okay. So this is the first and basic method, but this is a powerful method to set the correct data time. And after this, try to use your store. Okay. If this not work, then the second method is check your internet connection. Just go to the your network, right click on property and check your internet connection working or not. Okay. So the most important thing, your internet should be running and stable connection to use the Microsoft Store. If it's facing problem, then do one thing. Go to run command by using Windows R and here type wsreset.exe and hit enter. So this will reset your Microsoft Store. Okay. So after this, try to use your Microsoft Store. If it's still facing problem, then completely log in or sign out from your ID, okay? So, so completely log out or sign in from Microsoft Store and then re-sign in, okay? Close this and re-sign in and try to use the Microsoft Store. If it's not working, then do one thing. Go to start and here type PowerShell and right click on PowerShell, click on run as administrator, okay? Here you need to type a code. So I have given this code in my video description link. So just copy and paste this code. So this will re-register Microsoft Store. Okay, just, just hit enter and let it to complete it. And after complete, you can close this one. As you can see, it's complete. Close and now try to use a store. Okay. If it's not work, then the next method is uh, go to services. Oh, here just go to start and type services open the services and here search for microsoft store install so where is it here microsoft store install double click on it and this should be automatic and the service stores must be running okay so just click on start then click apply and okay and that's it so let me know in comments which option or which method fix your issue so thanks for watching guys catch you next time please like share and subscribe thank you very much guys